as a supplementary video to uh, my EFI sniper install um, I got my fuel line bent up pretty close to where I want it to be so I am going to swedge the ends of the pipe with a pipe flaring tool and I figured that would be an interesting quick how-to video um, there are probably a million on YouTube but I don't have one so I might as well do it um, this is the line that I'm installing in the EFI sniper install which probably will come out in the next day or two um, the next episode um, I think I have everything I need to finish it but we'll see so anyways let me get going on the how to swedge uh, a 3 8 steel line um, all right so what I like to do is put it in there make sure that uh, it's square and it's not too high so that it's uh, at the proper height for the for the die so there I am trying to get that sucker in there there we go that's about perfect and I think it's square so there you go so I got my line in my flare bar and I like to use a crescent wrench to tighten the flare bar down and once I get it tightened down really really good then we can flare it all right and I like to put the uh, wing nut perpendicular to the flare bar so that it doesn't interfere with uh, the yoke when I'm pushing it down and that's no yoke all right so there we go and then you put the die in there and you put the yoke on and you tighten it up a little to make sure you get it going square that's where I seem to have my problems so you'll probably have problems too um, again I'm no professional and to be honest with you I think this is the third time I've tried to get this to do it for this shooting so um, I I cannot tell a lie but you keep turning on it I don't know if you can see it in there but it's compressing that line it's going it's going all right it went and now I think it's time to pull this off and I don't know if you can see it god darn it I'm gonna have to move the camera all right so once it's off you see how it's uh, sort of rounded down around so now I use the 45 degree of the of the yoke and that'll push in and then it'll be smooth all the way around and it'll have a lip for the clamp to bite into so here I go again so I took the die out the die is no longer in it going back in the box put the yoke over the hole make sure it's square And then you just crank it down. I hope you got it square, which I do this time. Thank heavens. Third time's a charm.
I don't know if you, I know you can't see it in there, but it's, it's mushed down, so that's good. And then I just uh, loosen it back up and take it off. And we got one end of the, the line done. Ooh, almost looks like third time's a charm and I know what I'm doing, which I really don't. Just kidding. I know something. If you see me, you know that I definitely know how to eat. And there you go. So, there's the swedge. It's got a, a shoulder to uh, catch that clamp. The hose, 3 8 hose goes over there far enough. And then I put that, that big uh, Earl's uh, EFI hose clamp on there. And it won't go anywhere. Now it's time to do the other end. And you can... Uh, Continue watching me do it again, or you can uh, stop watching now. But if you stop watching now, please subscribe. Um, you know, I like doing this. I'd like to see it uh, expand a little bit more. Um, so if you can, please subscribe and watch my other videos. I'd appreciate it. Okay, now let's do that one more time. Make sure it wasn't a fluke. So again, like I said, be burr in there. To make sure you got it smooth so when uh, you go to put that die on there it uh, it works smoothly all right I think I got it all right now we got the good old flare bar put that on there again remember perpendicular with only as much sticking out as the die is tall so right there that's about perfect close the latch and tighten her up and again I like to tighten it up as much as I possibly can so that uh, the line doesn't walk in the flare bar and then it turns out not so good but Got the dye in there, put the yoke on, there you go, like I said, spin it down to snug it, and then make sure you got it square. Square is good on this, like I said, took me three tries on the last one. So you don't have to watch it three times. I'm only going to put on there the one time that worked. All right, so I got it square. And I'm going to tighten it now. Give it a little ass with it. Yeah, it's going. And once it starts to yield, you can really feel it yielding. You'll know that it's bowing out. It goes a lot easier. All right. Again, I don't think you can see that, but take it out. See how it's winding out and flatten. And then we'll tighten down the yoke. Making sure it's square in the pipe and then tighten that down. All right. And there we go. Another one finished. So I got both ends and now I just gotta install the line and uh, 
We'll be good to go. Good to go. All right, so anyways, so there you go. I got two nice swedged ends to put uh, fuel line over. Got a nice uh, shoulder on it. Uh, it'll keep the hose from coming off. Um, I would use a compression fitting on these, but uh, according to the book, it should only be getting three to five foot pound, or pounds per square inch um, on the return side. So that should be more than enough to uh, make sure we don't have a leak. So anyways, like I said before, if you get a chance, please watch my other videos and uh, subscribe, like, ask questions. Um, I like to get questions, so I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thank you and have a great day.